G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia and a happy Independence Day to you guys in America. Happy 4th of July, man. I've got my terrible tower right here. Check that out. Isn't that nice? Um, I bought a few of these. Uh, I think I bought three of these a few years ago. So it looks freaking awesome. So happy 4th of July to you guys out there. Hopefully everyone um, in America is staying safe. You know, you at your barbecues at your friend's house. Uh, you're having drinks at a pub. I don't know. Is there baseball on? Maybe you're watching baseball. You're just, everything's going cool. Everything's fine. So when I was over there, guys, I loved it. I absolutely had the, one of the best times of my life. Um, the last time I was there was when I was with, was with my dad. Uh, and we went in 2019. Went from New York to Philadelphia to Washington, Washington to Gettysburg, Gettysburg to uh, Harrisburg for about for about half a day at lunch, Harrisburg to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh to Buffalo, Buffalo to Niagara Falls, and, it, and eventually Niagara Falls back to home. So that was a long trip, by the way, too. Coming all the way back home from Niagara Falls was about 30-something hours. I think it was like 20, 20, 27 hours. Um, you had to fly from Buffalo back to New York, which is about five hours. And then New York to LA was about five. And then roughly home again was like 14 hours to get home. So coming back from Buffalo in like, once we left the hotel was like, okay. I said, dad, once we leave the hotel, we, 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 we close the door. Once we do that, then the next minute, we're going to be trying walk our way home. Like we won't be able to see another bed until we close the door. So that was quite crazy. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys have a good 4th of July. Um, I do uh, appreciate the American culture. I love, of course, American football. As you know, I'm Steelers Nation Australia, a guy living in Australia with hopes yet again to maybe try and get back to America for my fourth time. I think I've been there. I think I've been there three or four times. I can't even remember. Uh, wait, one way. I think I've been. I think I've been to America four times. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. I went with once with my mate when the first time I went back in Canada to San Fran. I went to Houston uh, with my other mate for the Super Bowl 51. And then I went back to America. Yeah, I think I've been there four or five times. I don't even, I don't even know. Anyways, I will get back there. I'm planning to hopefully get back there in 2024 to try and see a game, a Pittsburgh game. Uh, but also, guys, there is more news I wanted to cover today. I just wanted to cover something quickly that I've seen around the internet. There was the idea of it, Ruben Foster coming to the Steelers. I don't think it's going to happen, right? And I did see a source say that Ruben Foster might be picked up or the Steelers are uh, interested in Ruben Foster. It's not the Steelers are interested. It's that Vince Williams made a play on Twitter and said, you guys should go and sign Ruben Foster. Now, I actually think at this, at this point, right, we are 20 days away or 25 days away from training camp. I'll be very honest. I don't think we need any more players. When I look to the roster, I feel like the Steelers have done enough. I feel like they have um, ticked off so many weak areas at, at middle linebacker. I feel like, look, it's not solved just yet, but let them go play in training camp. They brought in new new middle linebackers, Roberts, Holcomb, Kukowski. They have Robinson there to back up and, and to learn. Uh, Tanner Muse, special teams. You know, Shannon Sullivan playing slot. You have Armin Watts. You have other blokes, Braden Fahoko, nose tackle, the guy who can do the hucker. Look, we don't always have to go and get someone or trade someone away or trade for a player when the news comes around. And this this year has been quite a crazy year with Omar Khan, right? The Khan artist. We all saw that. We all saw that when Omar Khan um, first signed Patrick Peterson, and then Cameron Sutton left, and then Terrell Edmonds and all these guys were leaving, and, and goodbye Spillane, right? Everything went crazy, but everything's happened for a reason. And they went and signed Isaac Ciamalo, got Nate Herbig signed there. They also went and drafted his brother, uh, Nick Herbig. So things are happening, right? Things have happened. Just because we see a player on the market, in my opinion, let me know in the comments below what you think. I don't think we need to go chase him down. And also, they're kind of like in the in the lull period right now. Look, I, I would say that some of the front office would probably go on holiday. I don't know. I think Mike Tomlin's always working. I think Omar Khan's always working. But the players are on holiday. They're enjoying themselves. I doubt you're going to see someone be signed um, in the near future. However, it can happen. It can happen, right? 
you'll see someone be cut like Anthony Miller be cut or you might see Gunnar Oshesky be cut and they'll go and sign someone else. It's a business. It does happen. But what I'm trying to say is, is when you see someone in lights like a star player or a star USFL player, it doesn't mean they're going to come to the Steelers. Just saying that. I, I, I think to me, the middle linebacker position, I feel like it's okay. It doesn't need to be great, but it's good to okay. And I want to see what they can do. Um, I want to see what they can do in training camp. I really do. We need football back. It's been too long. It's been far too long. The speculation over, over overload, it's been too much. It's been like, I just want to see someone hit someone. That's all I want to see. I want to see Najee hit someone. I want to see Holcomb hit someone. I want to see football back. And we're about a, about a month away from the Browns versus Jets um, Hall of Fame game. I will be streaming that. And that leads into the next preseason game. I think Steelers versus Buccaneers. And that's our first real taste of football being back in 2023. Anyways, guys, that's the episode today. I hope you guys have a good uh, 4th of July. I know what it means to you guys. I know what it means to the rest of the world and even to Australia uh, to celebrate your independence. I understand all the history about it. So hopefully you guys have a good night and, and stay safe and, um, you know, continue to have beers and good times and, and, and um, you know, drink sherbets. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments below because I was thinking today, let me know in the comments below, what would be one stealer uh, past... Uh, past, not future, <laughs> past or present, right? Who would you invite to your barbecue? Okay, who would you invite to your barbecue? My player, actually, my favorite player is, is uh, uh, Debo, James, James Debo Harrison. I would invite Debo Harrison to the barbecue. I think inviting him and his family would just be fun. I think he would he would have a ton of stories. I know he's I know he's a mean looking guy, but I think it'd be fun to to you know bring to the family barbecue at the Fourth of July sit down there and uh, have a conversation with Debo it would just be insane. So he's my favorite of all time. Uh, let me know in the comments below, who would you invite to the barbecue? Terry Bradshaw, Big Ben, uh, Kenny Pickett. Who would you invite to your barbecue, your 4th of July? And I'll see you guys later. Enjoy and stay safe. See you guys later.